6 weather is brought to you by Aztec Chevrolet in Beeville. Visit AztecAutoplex.com. Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Here is your Aztec Chevrolet forecast. Our studio sky cam is showing lots of fog moving in. We looked at this just a couple minutes ago, and it wasn't near as foggy as it is now. And sea fog is going to be very prevalent again here overnight and through the early morning hours. But tomorrow looks to be a little drier day. Here's what's ahead. That fog and drizzle persists through the night. The showers that we had earlier today are going away. Less activity here tomorrow. I think we'll actually see a little bit of sun tomorrow afternoon. That's going to push temperatures even higher than the low 70s we had today. Warm temperatures through Saturday. Warm for February and into the beginning of March as we'll see 80 degrees before another Arctic blast. That's right, Arctic air coming back. We talked about it yesterday. It's on the way. It's going to be here Saturday night. It's going to give us four days of misery Sunday through Wednesday of next week. All right, temperatures right now in the 70s over most of the region. Uh, near the water, a little cooler. Seawater temperature at Packery Channel, 64 degrees. Our winds are out of the south southeast at 8. We've had a warm front move through. That's what caused the showers today. And now the sea fog is rolling in with very warm air over the cool shelf waters. Visibility is down to a mile along the coast from Port Aransas to Rockport, 10 miles inland. Totally different inland than it is here in town and out on Padre and Mustang Island. Future Tracker shows those visibilities dropping off area wide through 6 a.m. to about a mile. So again, watch out for the fog if you're traveling. Our short term forecast has a little drizzle and fog all the way through midnight. Temperatures holding in the mid 60s all the way into the midnight hour. We're not going to drop a whole lot tonight where it'll be unseasonably mild and we'll end up at 64 degrees here with mid to low 60s across the entire region. Actually cooler near the water tonight because the seawater temperature is so chilly with all the fronts that we've had this winter. The uh, rain today, we had three tenths at the airport, 36 hundredths at Kingsville, the most anywhere in the region. Places like Orange Grove didn't receive any at all. Beeville had 300, so it varied widely, but again, not a whole lot. The heavy rain up in Houston, as you can see on the Doppler radar, they're getting blasted right now from Wharton all the way into the uh, Bayou City there and just getting hit by some real storms where we're just seeing some light shower activity west of Sinton all the way up to west of Refurio, northward to Goliad. And again, there's a little bit of light shower activity parked out here to the west, moving north uh, out there on 234 west of Odom. That's right along this warm front, again, which is uh, going to turn stationary on us. Front up in north Texas will stay there. And here comes the cold air. You can see it out of Canada right now and temperature behind this are sub-zero, not sub-freezing, but sub-zero in the northern plains. And guess what? It's headed south on the heels of a dropping jet stream. 36 to 42 below zero around the Arctic Circle, and that air is headed south later this week uh, through Thursday and Friday. Take a look at this. By Saturday afternoon, it's going to be below freezing in Amarillo while we'll be pushing 80 degrees here in the coastal bend. And then on Sunday, it'll be in the teens in Amarillo and we'll be dropping into the 50s, and that'll be the warmest we'll be Sunday afternoon. So the future tracker shows the warm, humid air continuing with the cloud cover. Starts to go away tomorrow afternoon, looking good there. Then that front up along the Red River Valley begins to break up to the north. Again, that may touch off a stray shower or two. Here is a look at your NEC Co-op Energy 7-day forecast. 64 tonight with fog, 78 tomorrow, then 63 and 76 on Thursday. Friday 77, 78 Saturday, at least 78, then that front. And I'm telling you, Lee, things are going to be tough because highs are only going to be in the 40s Monday and Tuesday. And I think we'll actually see the 30s again. Wow. Uh, but no freezing temperatures by Good the deal. time we get to the middle of next week. All right. Thank you very much, Dale.